Are you tired of trying to find your marks on a laser rod? Resetting it up time after time again? Doing the math over and over again? Give me a break. Quickie laser rod by Pave Tool is the ultimate answer. This is a time saving tool that's going to drive out a lot of waste when it comes to different elevations. And we are, we're gonna eliminate that math madness that oftentimes occurs on a job such as this where we have multiple elevations, we have a drain, we have a loading dock, we have a back entrance door that we have to worry about. So all this math we're gonna to simplify today. I'm gonna to talk today first about the elevation of this drain. This on my plan is set at zero elevation. So everything is based off this. The great part about the laser rod is my math is built into the stick and I can choose either zero in the middle or I can choose zero at the top or I can reverse this pole and have it at the bottom. But the unique thing is I have an internal foot. This allows me to set my laser rod at zero and I am. I'm going to pick today because I have up and down elevations. That's why it's great to have the zero in the middle because I can move the laser up or down. I set it at zero. My laser is going on the job site already. Bring this to my upper rib. Slow is low, fast is high. I tighten that up. I've set my elevation to zero. Now keep in mind, because zero here in the middle, I have all my math built into this rod. My next step, being that my drain is zero, I'm gonna have slight pitch up to my wall to get my water into this drain. So that's gonna be set an inch and a half. So again, you had a laser, that's shooting level. So I gotta go up to make the laser rod go down and vice versa. So I'm gonna slide this down an inch and a half, one and a half inches built right into this stick. So that is my finished grade. That's gonna be finished grade right up against my wall. Now keep in mind, I'm not gonna set my wall base there. For my wall, I wanna be able to bury at least 10% of my wall is what NCMA will tell you. And in this case, I'm gonna bury four inches of the wall. So I have a negative one and a half and then a positive four. So when I do my math, I'm gonna be at two and a half inches. So I go up two and a half inches. I've got my base set. I'm ready to start digging for my wall. Thank you for chiming in today. Make sure you go to pavetool.com. You can sign up there for our tip of the week and make sure you check us out on all our social media platforms.